Hi everybody and welcome back to some more historical challenges here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here. This is part number five of my walkthrough. Now in today's episode we're going to be doing two more challenges in the 500cc heroes and the first one we're going to do is as Eddie Lawson on the Kachiva around Donington. So this looks awesome. Let's have a look at the challenge and it is a time attack and we've got to get a 132.5 to get the gold. Let's have a look at the bike and the rider. And I love this part of the game where you can have a look at the showroom and have a look at the bike and the rider. And that looks awesome. Right, let's jump straight into this awesome challenge. Right, so here we go with the first historical challenge in today's episode on this awesome 500cc bike as Eddie Lawson. Now it's a lap around Donington. We've got to achieve a 132.5 to get the gold and it's in clear conditions so hopefully we should be able to do it I love the sound of these 500cc bikes and they handle so well you can turn all this cyst off and they feel absolutely superb look at that nice wheelie and uh, let's see what we can do on this first lap let's just get used to the bike and see if we can achieve it first time I don't think we will and I do like Donington Park I've actually done a track day round this circuit not this version of the circuit the shorter version and it was an awesome day. They also had an RC8 day here as well. The next day, because I was here, for, I was on this circuit on the track day for two days, and uh, it was my first experience on an RC8 KTM. I tell you what, it was so flipping scary. But there you go. Um, I've got um, some awesome pictures. I might actually put them on my Facebook page at some point, so you can have a look at the day. All right, let's see if we can get a nice turn in into this section. This lap's going okay. This bike feels pretty decent. Uh, they did make some fantastic bikes in these years. And I'm glad that they've added them to the game in these historical challenges. And I have said it in previous episodes. I still think they should do an historical championship. That would be amazing. Especially on the 500cc bikes. Right, let's see if we can just negotiate this corner. This corner could be a real bugger. And that wasn't too bad. Oh, oh, spud up a bit there. I thought I was going to get kicked off. Right, let's try and line up this corner. And this bike does handle so well. Wow. It, it is awesome. And I think we are going to be able to get the gold. Oh, that was close. Not too far away. Uh, but we got the bronze and silver. Right, so let's go again and see if we can achieve the gold. So here we go. Right, so we just need to find about half a second to get the gold. And I must admit, this is probably one of the best handling bikes I've used so far in the game. Hopefully there's a few more challenges on this bike. I wouldn't complain about that. Right, that's not too bad into that first corner. Let's start pushing it down this section as hard as we can. Keeping it right onto the apex. Turn it over. That's nicely done. Just maintaining the speed. Oh, this is, this is a good start to the lap need this Ooh, be careful almost tap the power on a little bit too early there well and another moment all right let's keep it steady through this section that's nicely done good on the brakes and power out that turn get the wheel up you just have to gradually accelerate it does spin up a little bit just slowly open the throttle yeah it, it definitely will spin up if you full throttle it out of a turn see if we can just push it a little bit faster through this chicane and keep it right on the curbs oh that was much better than the previous lap right now we just got to nail these corners this is a difficult one let's get as tight in as we can got a little bit deeper than i would have liked and again spinning up that rear but just managing to control it right final corner come on, we can do this a little bit deeper and to the line try and get that front wheel down and that should be oh yes we do just a 132.125 uh, i'll take that all day long that is an awesome challenge i definitely recommend that one that bike is fantastic right let's get straight into the next challenge in today's episode Right, so the next challenge in today's episode is as Michael doing on the Honda NSR 500 around Mugello. 
and it's another time attack and we've got to get a 153.099 to get the gold this would be interesting I do like Magello so hopefully we should be able to achieve this one but uh, I'm not sure how this bike's going to handle around the circuit like that but it's definitely going to be awesome on the straight and we can see what it's like in a straight line so let's see what sort of speeds we can get Right, so here we go with the second historical challenge in today's episode as Michael doing on the NSR 500. Now we've got to achieve a gold time of 153.1, so hopefully we can achieve that. And let's see what sort of speeds we can get up to on this straight. Let's push this bike as hard as we can. 180, 185, 190. Ooh, start breaking, break, 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 break. Oh, I didn't think it was going to stop then. Into that turn, Let's see if we can get close to that time. Let's see how this bike handles. Oh, just got in there a little bit hot. Got to get a little bit lined up. This is the problem when you've raced around this circuit on slower bikes. This gets to the corners a lot quicker and it accelerates quite nicely as well. Let's see what it's like compared to the last 500 cc. We just oh god, the wheel goes up really easily on this one. And this is going to be quite a challenge. And oh god, and again the wheel wants to go up as we change direction. It's the only problem when you don't use anti-wheelie. It just wants to take off. So we've got to be a little bit more controlled on the throttle. And we just caught the curve there. That's going to affect us around the turn. Well that wasn't too bad. We should control that. Try right, to slow it down. Let's get nice and tight in. I don't think it handles as nice as the last bike, the Kajiba, but it still feels pretty decent. I do like the styling of the NSR, I must admit. I do like the way the pipes come out the back end of the bike and the side as well. It's awesome. It sounds fantastic as well. I keep saying that about every single bike. They just, they've done really well with some of the sounds of the bikes on this game. That was nice and smooth through there. Now we've just got to nail this last corner. Let's see if we can do it. This one doesn't turn in as nicely as the last bike either, but it still feels pretty decent. Let's open it out. And this is going to be very, very tight. Can we get the gold? I don't think it's going to be the gold. No, it's not going to be the gold. Uh, 155.015. So we get the bronze. So we need to find a couple of seconds. So we've got to improve by quite a bit, actually. Right, let's get back out on the circuit and see if we can get a faster time. Let's keep it a little bit tighter through this section. It's not too bad. It's nicely done. And power. And the wheel's still wanting to go up. We're just stuck on anti wheelie to see if that makes a difference. And uh, it hasn't really made much difference so far. So that is pretty pointless sticking that on. We might turn that off again in a minute. We're still wanting to take off. Try and hold it as much as we can through this turn need to get a little bit tighter onto the apex. Wow. Thought it was going to lose the rear then. Slow it down. Just trying to carry as much speed through these corners as I can. Right onto the apex through there. Not far to the end. Let's see if we can get tighter on this turn as well. Let's get nice and tight. And slowly. Oh god, again. Just just wanting to accelerate a little bit too early into the curb through there. We need to get that right. This is going to be tight. I think this is definitely an improvement. Whether it's fast enough to get the gold, I'm not so sure. But that was a much better final corner as well. So we're definitely getting used to it. But I'm going to turn off the anti really uh, if I don't achieve it because it definitely didn't make it that much difference. And a 153.8. So we're still just over a second. No, actually not a second. To get the goal, we need 0.7. So let's go again. Well, that last lap was terrible. We've got to do miles better than that. Right, let's slow it down. Late on the brakes. Get it turned in. And we've got to find about 0.7 to get the gold. Let's get it nice and turned in. Oh, that was much better through there. Again, trying to get right onto the apex through those corners over the throttle and we turned anti-wheelie back off it made no difference having it 
on. And we're just down on the time of the first sector. But I'm not going to worry about that because I know I can make it up in sector three and four. The first two sectors, I've never been that quick. It's not too bad for there. Let's try and nail this corner. Just hold it right onto the kerb. Just keep it steady. Again, get it nice and turned in. And oh, we found almost point three on sector two. Well, that's going to help. Let's see if we can maintain that. Oh, that was nicely done through there. Getting used to the bike now. And I think after we've done a couple of laps, we've really started to nail in the braking points as well. Just know whereabouts we can turn in this bike. And just maximise our speed out the turns. That's nicely done again. Let's see if we get nicely through here. Oh, that was nicely done. And we're up by a second. Oh, this is going to be very, very close. Can we nail this final corner? We've got in there a little bit wider than I would have liked. Just be careful and slowly open the throttle. Oh, we might have ruined it on that last corner. But let's see. It's going to be very, very close. And over the finish. Ah, oh, yes, we've done it. A 152.879. Oh, that was close. I thought I'd ruined it on that last corner, but that was a de half decent lap anyway. Right, let's get into what's coming next. Right, guys, I want you to choose between Great Rivalries or the Modern Era. So these are the two in Great Rivalries. There's one as Max Biaggi or Capri Rossi on the Ducati. Or we're going to do the Modern Era, and it's going to be one on the Suzuki as Chris Vermeulen or... One as Valentino Rossi on the Yamaha. Get voting and I will see you in the next episode.